seven. Yeah, let's get one on the board before trying to do anything crazy. The last lift was convincing. There was well, nothing wrong with it. Just the three really time national champion again. from Nigeria. Ruby Okiokiene. 10.12 this year. He's in good form. Denzel Adam from the Seychelles will line up in lane number two. That's better. 20 years old. His first Commonwealth This games. time she waits. <laughs> yeah. She waits yeah. and she waits and she waits yeah. even yeah. after yeah. the down signal. Really important that's because that's put her up into second place. It has. This is, this is a huge lift and a huge mistake earlier. She's done well to correct it. Unfazed by what went before, drives really powerfully to arm's length. She gets the down signal and she waits a good three or four seconds afterwards. You could have a just to make sure. The first could ever under the 10 second barrier. It's a mistake that you sometimes have if they make in their first competition. Second of their national championship. Still don't know that first failure. Might well have just limited her possibilities, but. Vincent and the Grenadines. So. Punam Yarav in this new weight class for her. Absolutely convinced in the first half of the competition about her lifting. But this may be a completely different affair. So 160 in lane number five. to add to the 98 earned in the first half. Magical 10 second barrier this year. So we've got some fashion of hair in this heat. We've got some sunglasses being worn as well. No. I don't think so either, not David. For, not for me. Big press out left arm. Yeah, absolutely. And now we have unanimous decision. Uh, final tomorrow night. A couple of hours between them tomorrow night. No problems on the clean. Good extension. Drives out straight away. No problem. Take a look at her left arm. It's the right as we look at the picture. Does the arm go to lock first time and stay there? Or is there movement? Let's have a look. <laughs> So, the arm is definitely bent, and now it's straight. See what they do here. Good decision from the referees this time. These first attempt failures become a, a really, really important now because limitations are coming in here for first the youngster from Nigeria, and now the more experienced lifter from India. Yeah, numerous lifters here contending for the medals, and, and every lift is important. But when you miss your first, it really does put you under pressure. First need to come out and get second. But then the amount that you can progress after that is going to be limited. Yeah, it's under the one tenth of so, a second. Uh, Yanna asking for 160 to kilos. Clock started to count down for her. Yeah, I'm sure they would do. As a spectator, I hate seeing false starts. Actually, I have a suggestion. You know how they have. For example, the, the horse race. Canadian the Maya Lelo, by the way, 120 like supposedly for our opening attempt. Uh, no change to that. I think the replay there is the hit coming number. out on the same weight. There's up a kilo, isn't it? Same weight. In lane one. So if it was to be used as a defence, yeah, might not fly. 16. Intelligent. It looks like maybe that little incident there. Save the Nigerian, and it will come through as a faulty start. It does indeed, not to the light of the crowd here in Birmingham. So he stays. Week six of the men's 100 metres. We go again. They're the current qualifiers by time. Seven non automatic qualifying spaces that are up for grabs. Look at that. One, two, three. No, not for me. Oh, the buzzer went before she even stood still, which tells you that the referees have all pressed their red buzzer early. They saw exactly what we did. She's very frustrated with herself right now. See the reaction that she had. She's got to be clean to arm's length. Well, she's a big favourite here, having snatched 98. She was in second place at the halfway stage, but she finds herself in a lot of trouble and under some serious pressure. Two failed lifts, but for the same reason. Soft elbows overhead, but two in the block to find it. Injury in the number three, but the athlete in lane five. 
Maximino and Koiba with Nauru still with a couple of attempts left uh, in the lead ahead of the Nigerian who has one attempt and then Deborah Alawode of England with two attempts. Ebony got in short of Australia, two attempts and also Yane Ayenga of the Cameroon. So there are this plenty is, when of you are running alive, 100 along meters, with the Canadian who's yet to start. Out, 100%, so there's always a risk of injury. This is a really open medal fight. But it, it really is. You, you know, like Canada at the moment, you'd say, have to still be that, the favourite, as you've said. But it really is open. Now, the crowd has they've always done. Since the first day of the competitions here, they recognise the lifter who's run into trouble. And they let her know that they're all on her side, that they really want to, to get this third attempt to keep. It's a photo finish there of that 2 one hundredth of a second between the Nigerian athlete in third. That's nice, and as Rob said, hotting up nicely for the semi finals, but that was heat number six. Still four more to go. It's better. I think that movement was a bit... No, for goodness oh. sake, she put it down before the buzzer. So going back to that false start, oh, what wow. would happen I if don't we even had know what to say. <laughs> and well, last night it was the young Nigerian this morning. It's the world oh, oh, games champion of four years ago. <laughs> this is just a schoolgirl error. There is no it's always a nothing debate, that can be said guy about this. In the tenth of a second for false start, which many people think is arbitrary because it was only tested. So on the lift, a number, assuming number was, of, was, was, was good, England just put the bar down before the referee was, said arms. And then there's the false start. Soft lock, well, but that looks okay to me. It doesn't look it to be well, a press out this time. So she's correct as a problem. Now puts it down. And the Indians are playing the. There's no card to play, I'm afraid. The buzzer is gone. Nine, nine. I know rules are rules are rules. Yeah, there's just no way the jury is going to decision, they can put the challenge card in. They haven't got to the perfect scenario yet. But I agree with you, I don't think the jury is going to turn this round. Confirmation of so six men's 100 it causes a bit of a delay and Ebony Gorinku of Australia just held up a little bit.